What's up guys, you already know the vibes. Bladen Kirk from Stay Hot here, and I wanna let you know that we do read your comments, we read your reviews, and we've heard your calls for more content, and we are more than happy to oblige. So starting well now, we're gonna be bringing you a weekly mini episode we are lovingly calling Stay Hot Shots, and it's gonna be available exclusively on YouTube. And I want I, I want to remind you that we do appreciate all of the love and support that we get from you guys. So keep leaving amazing comments, keep, keep subscribing, keep doing all the things that you've been doing. And without further ado, a Deshaun Kaiser review. It's kind of a bar. Call me MC Bladen. <laughs> quarterback in this league never won <laughs> like most qbs that have taken a stroll through cleveland deshaun kaiser has garnered a bit of a reputation as just being another quarterback that has been destroyed by the death trap of, of the cleveland browns but most quarterbacks that have come through cleveland were just not good before they got to cleveland and deshaun kaiser is no exception to that even in Deshaun Kaiser's best college games against Syracuse and Texas, he really wasn't all that prolific. Now, don't get me wrong, he had some positives. He was very strong, and I just mean physically. He he could take a hit, and he was very difficult to tackle. But it's, it's not like he was this prolific passer, right? The things that he did well, besides being strong, was that he was a decent open field runner. He could break away. He had decent breakaway speed. And, and he was always looking to make a play, right? I, I'll give... I'll give him credit where it's due. He was always looking to create. He was never looking to settle. Not to mention he had a big arm. I, I gotta give him the benefit of the doubt that he had a cannon. But despite all of these great things, right? Because those are those are good traits to have in, in any quarterback. He's not an elite runner, right? I mentioned he's strong and he has decent breakaway speed, but he's not like elusive in the same way that Lamar is. He's not aggressive enough or maybe confident enough to run through a linebacker the same way that Josh Allen is or Trey Lance is. And oftentimes, despite having this big arm, he just makes easy things incredibly hard. He consistently misses checkdowns. He consistently misses screen passes. He consistently misses wide open receivers deep. There's times where I feel like he just doesn't trust his arm and maybe he can see an open receiver and he doesn't feel like he can actually get it there, so he ends up taking a sack. Um, just out of not trusting his arm. He has bad pocket presence. He doesn't really throw the ball away. I, I, I remember watching some of his film and I'm like screaming at him to just throw it away. Just do something other than take a sack. At the end of the day, the two biggest issues that Kaiser had was that he just refused to take what the defense would give him and he would just stare down receivers. And that kind of culmination of trouble combined with the fact that Hugh Jackson was gonna be his head coach was a recipe for disaster. Now, in Deshaun Kaiser's NFL debut, I did think he showed a little bit of promise, right? I thought, oh, maybe he could be the next Dak Prescott. He wasn't super prolific in college, didn't have stellar coaching, but still found a way to, to succeed anyway. But that's not really what happened. We all know the story they went 0-16. The problem was he had no pocket presence, and it wasn't Daniel Jones bad, don't get me wrong. Not to mention, he would just stare down his receivers and not take what the defense gave him. Right, that, that is the one thing that he still refused to do. And it led to him leading the league in turnovers. People often think that Deshaun Kaiser was this like prolific star at Notre Dame who just happened to not work out in the NFL or that the Browns ruined him, but that's not really true. And I guess now the question is, can Kaiser be a salvageable backup? And I'm gonna keep it real with you, it's probably gonna be a no from me, but I would like to just thank everyone for watching this and I would like to give a special shout out to Landon Hund for consistently suggesting that I do a Deshaun Kaiser review. Thank you so, so much. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, review, do all the things you're supposed to do, all the great things that you've been doing. And until next time, 
We'll catch you on the flippity flop.